Well, happy Turkey Day for, for us. For us. It'll already be done for you guys. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> Man, we're getting ready. To, well, I'm getting ready to get start our Thanksgiving feast. She's got some good ideas. Um, I do. Pretty excited. I, I wanted to do the chicken in the Traeger, but she wants to try this recipe in the air fryer. So we're going to let her, I'm just going to help. Yeah. We're not doing a turkey. It's just easier to do a chicken <coughs> for us. Yeah. Um, but yeah, I want to do it in the air fryer because I have done a whole chicken in the air fryer before and it turns out so good. It's almost like a rotisserie chicken. So that's what we're going to do. We picked this up a chicken from Trader Joe's when we went and got groceries the other day. Got my air fryer out. It's gonna be super easy. Super yeah, easy. Yeah. You basically just make a kind of a paste. I got all my seasonings here that I'm gonna put on the chicken. We're gonna baste it with this paste and let it cook in the air fryer for like an hour and a half. And then I'm gonna make green beans with, I came, I found this recipe a while back. It's green beans and you put like cream cheese and garlic and oh man, they're so good. And then instead of mashed potatoes, we're gonna have cauliflower mash, which is one of our favorites. And I was gonna make a keto chicken gravy, but I thought I had xanthan gum, which, which is a thickening agent, but I that don't. That stuff gives me the farts. Yeah, well, you're lucky. We aren't gonna do that. We're gonna just do a, <laughs> brown gravy packet but yeah. i'm gonna use chicken bone broth to make that but yeah it's gonna be yummy i'm excited yeah uh we're starting early too i think most people do start early yeah. on thanksgiving day so yeah it's like noon here in california which we're yeah. in barstow california right now we, we never got the batteries fixed yesterday <laughs> um we went we went there, yeah we shop. went over there they said that uh unless they were actually dead right at the moment right then and there they couldn't replace them so basically we have to sit in the parking lot for a couple hours and let the batteries drain down dead and then call them and tell them that they have to come jump us to drive over there to be able to give us a uh, replacement battery so yeah. we will do that tomorrow just because i don't want to deal with that today we got all week probably so yeah it's thanksgiving day we yeah. don't want to mess with any we're gonna of that. be lazy we're gonna eat a lot of food <laughs> even though it's still keto i am gonna eat so oh, much yeah well this this, is... this chicken will be gone yeah i mean that's basically all we're eating today we haven't had yeah. breakfast or lunch yep, so we'll none be of having that. this uh, who else does that like doesn't eat all day on thanksgiving so <laughs> they could, can feast down on the thanksgiving dinner yeah, yeah but yeah i'm not gonna like go step by step on how i make this jason will get some b-roll of me cooking but i'll i will <laughs> We'll link the recipes I'm using to make everything down below for you guys. I find most of the stuff I do on Pinterest, so yeah, yeah. if y'all are interested. But we will come back and show you what it looks like after it's all done and we're ready to eat. Cool. Let's do that. Alright guys, here it is. Thanksgiving dinner is ready. Yes. Ooh, let's see what we got. Let's, let's see it. It took a few hours, yeah. but it's good. We've got our air fryer chicken, green bean little casserole, cauliflower mash, gravy, and deviled eggs. Heck yeah. <laughs> Not, not bad for a uh, feast in the truck. So Jason helps them, but your job now is to carve the chicken because I don't know how to do that very oh, well. Oh, I got a new knife to do it with. Yeah, so yeah. we just got to carve it up and we're ready to eat. Um, let's get our grub on. Let's get it on.
Still from Barstow. <laughs> Still from Barstow, <laughs> yeah. We kind of figured we'd be here all weekend. Yeah, man, yesterday, day after Thanksgiving, we did nothing. Nothing. Absolutely. It was a lazy, nice, lazy day. We were pretty lazy, yeah. We were. We, uh... Played on our phones all day. <laughs> God, I went through like a TikTok uh, marathon. I haven't even signed up for TikTok. I'm not on board. Yeah. <laughs> it's pretty funny. There's some crazies on there. Oh, There's, my gosh. Yeah, a lot of politic kind of stuff on there. Mm -hmm. To mention politics... We don't talk politics. We never have, never will. We, we did a live like a week or two ago, and somebody, a couple people said we shouldn't took polit uh, talk politics. I made fun of a Biden word, you know, some word that gibberish that he messed up while he was reading the teleprompter. And it, because of that, people assume your political affiliation. They it's, said, it's, well, it's, I think now that's we just, know your true political or your views on things. Oh, I'm believe like, me, we make fun of one joke. We make fun of Trump, too. So oh, we'll make fun of, we'll I make good of all of them. I, I, you I'll know, make fun of myself. Man. Yeah. If I do some <laughs> stupid crap, I'm a, if I say, come on, you guys make fun of me when I say some dumb words. I'll oh, make up my, my own words. Yeah, I just, it's, I'm like my, you yeah. know our political views because we made a joke about a word Biden says. I'm the like, issue is, as people get too easily offended these days. Days, they take stuff out of context yeah. and it's just ridiculous. Yeah. It really is just ridiculous and how people take stuff like that out of context. If you if you wear a certain shirt like yeah. you wore in our yeah. truck yeah. tour, funny people shirt. People get it's offended. Just a funny shirt. And it, like we think nothing of it. Yeah. We yeah. I don't care what your political views are, your religious no. views I don't are. Care. You're Everybody black, white religion. No. I don't care about any of that. It all matters how you treat other people, you know? I mean, obviously, those of you who have watched us for a long time probably realize yeah, that yeah, we're the yeah. most Man, easygoing are... people that you could probably ever meet. These and... were probably some new people, you know, because <laughs> I, I didn't recognize the name or nothing. But mm. for, for those who want to know, she is not political at all. I, she don't care all. about any of it. She didn't even vote. No. Me, I'm a registered independent in the state of Texas. <laughs> I go both ways. Yeah. Who, who's got the better idea? You know, mm. I'm like, I don't really have a whole lot of views on yeah. treat I, people I, with decency, <laughs> be a good person, and uh, those are my views, you know? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, we thought it was funny, but yeah. yeah, there's a bunch of political TikTok stuff going on. <laughs> and some of them make sense. I mean, I'm all about the facts. I want to know the facts. Oh, good, good kind of tailor off on to. I've been a huge fan of Google for like years, and I just came across this. Uh, it's called DuckDuckGo. That it, it, it's pretty cool. Like it doesn't track all the stuff you search uh, mm -hmm. like Google does and Facebook and all that. It doesn't track it, and they block those guys from seeing what your what websites you go to and all that so i'm kind of getting into this whole duck duck go thing hmm. anybody else tried it he just told me about it last night yeah he just found yeah, it any of you guys tried duck duck go mm. pretty cool i mean it's really similar to google okay. but they don't track your stuff yeah that's was, pretty cool I, yeah. thought, I thought that was pretty cool because i'm getting tired of all these facebook tracking like you we all have it. You know, we'll be talking on the phone with somebody and then go on our Facebook and all of a sudden there's advertisements for whatever you were just talking on their phone with. Yeah. You know, yeah. I'm like, holy hell. Like, so utilizing the Duck, Duck Go, I think is a lot better. I'm, I'm playing around with it. <laughs> <The, coughs> man, our Thanksgiving dinner turned out Amazing. so good. Oh, gosh, it was so good. We had some leftovers yesterday. We were going to do Wagyu, but... Then oh, yeah, for Thanksgiving. Yeah, but then she wanted a chicken. But we did Wagyu oh. last night. We did do Wagyu. And we probably, we would have done Wagyu for Thanksgiving dinner, but we ended up stopping at a Trader Joe's and got groceries. So when we were there, I was like, let's just get a chicken because I was really wanting to do one in the air fryer. Yeah, yeah. So that's and it came we, out amazing. We oh still got a bunch of leftovers so where we've been eating on. Yeah, we had cold, leftovers just hot, <laughs> warmed up. But yeah, I'll, I ate a big old piece uh, last night cold. Did you? Yeah. Yeah, and d we did do a Wagyu steak last night. That was really good. But we we only have a few left. We're getting low on the Wagyu. But yeah, yeah. It's lasted. Gosh, when did we get it? We got oh. it before our anniversary, which was what do you um, want? the end of August. So it's what lasted. Do you want? She said, "I want my camera time." 
<laughs> Where's my camera time? But we, uh, we just checked in at the shop here. Our Landstar 120 day inspection is coming due. Might as well get that done now so we're not having to find a place along the way of running a load and <laughs> yeah, we have like get two, it out of the way. We have like two weeks before it's due, but yeah, while we're sitting, we might as well just do it, right? Might as well just do it. <laughs> yep. Yeah, and then we're gonna do, we got, we bought some shocks because. Um, we've been noticing the the front end's kind of been not riding real great. So it's, I mean, we've yeah, got just, over a hundred thousand miles. They're not so. bad. They're just worn. Yeah. So we picked so. up shocks. We're gonna change those out ourselves today. Well, we're not gonna do a video on it. We did a video on it when we um, changed oh them on gosh. our M2, oh, which shot. I'll link up here if you want to go back. It's probably gonna be pretty similar Ooh. to change them out. Ooh. Um, just like the M2 was, and then I am going to clean the inside of the truck. We went clean over my truck, Cinderella. <laughs> no, we went over uh, to the Flying J to dump the pot, and oh my gosh, the line's crazy over there with RVers. RVers, yeah, yeah mm. they're all come either going out or coming back. Who knows? I was afraid of that just because of the holiday weekend. A lot of people are out RVing, and yeah. yeah. A lot of people use that Flying J for their RV dump and stopped and got Chipotle for lunch. My Jason favorite. was wanting Chipotle, yeah. which... Although so, I hate them. So I know California has like been on lockdown again and now you can't even go in and get your Chipotle. You have to order it online and they bring it out to you. Yeah, that's... Which is okay. I just, we like going in to, to tell them what we want because a lot of times they'll, like if we want extra chicken or extra sour cream, they... But I always get a salad and I want I always want to tell them light lettuce, you know, but they ne you can't even, I, that's not an option on the, the yeah. app. Yeah, and... eh. is what it is, right? <laughs> they just, and, and they're usually <laughs> chintzy. When you do it online, yeah. they're usually pretty chintzy. Like it was all below the level of the, but when you go in, they're like, it's all, they're having to cram it down. <laughs> yeah. And it's like. And plus two on your salad. Chipotle is probably the worst consistency on <laughs> how much they put, how how their customer service is. They're, yeah. they're always real rude and I'm slapping it in the bowl all real fast and trying to rush it. Yeah, especially like if there's the a lot of, a long line. I like the food, so I tolerate it. He does. I know when we, when we were home, they made him mad at the Chipotle and Waco. And he's like, I'm never going to Chipotle again. And yeah, that, that, I knew that was a lie. <laughs> I'm just never going to that one again. <laughs> to that one? Yeah. <laughs> Luckily, there's more than one they, in Waco. They all closed up my bowl when I wasn't even done getting stuff in it. And they said, oh, we'll put it on the side. I'm like, no, you won't. No. You'll keep that bowl. You can have it. Yes. I'm out of here. <laughs> he ended up not even giving it. He really I made him bowl. so mad. Oh, it was so oh, bad. Oh, my it, gosh. And then what did we do? I don't remember. So I got you, my... you got a bowl, and then I went to uh, World Burrito. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Because <laughs> at, at Waco, we got a World Burrito. So yeah, that's screw pretty you, good Chipotle too. of Waco. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Man. So, yeah, that's what our day is going to consist of. I think what we're waiting for the shop i'm gonna start yeah. cleaning and yeah. just get the truck nice and clean on the inside since we got it washed on the outside this past week and yeah yeah registered independent okay <laughs> I, one thing i do want to say which i was talking to jason about this the other day about i don't understand how people get mad and have such hatred, hatred, hatred towards somebody with a different political view or religious, any kind of view that's right. different than right. theirs. Well, it's, it's like, mostly political right now. Yeah. Well, right now, because that's what's going on in the world, but it's anything, anything. It's like, why do you hate somebody? You don't even know the person. If you don't know the person or, I mean, just for, they have it's, a different view than I think somebody that's just else. so crazy. I guess because I've never been like that. I mean, I, appreciate everybody no matter what their views well, are right. just because i don't agree or that agree the same way they do doesn't mean that they're a bad person right. or i shouldn't like right. them and right. i just feel i i guess and now with everything online you know people there's keyboard warriors and they just feel like they can say whatever I, they want honestly and, i think it's the keyboard warriors <laughs> just being loud right now and so it makes it like the whole world's like this mm -hmm. There is what's called the silent majority. Yeah. We usually just sit around and be quiet and watch. And, you know, it, it, when push comes to shove, we push. But we're, we're just 
we, we do our voting. We vote how we think is best. We, we're quiet. We let other people do their thing. We're mm-hmm. all that's a silent majority. Mm-hmm. That is the mass of our country. But then you got these loud people right now raising a fuss and just being mean and vindictive and it's just sad. Violent that, and it's sad the state that the world, or I guess where it's, it's all over the world, people. but it's, it's the loud just people sad. right now. It's because sad. our world ain't like that. No. Our country isn't like that. Majority of people are just silent, kind of watching, mm. listening, you know. And but then you got your loud people who want to raise a fuss. So. Yeah, yeah. I mean, luckily we got the majority of the people that watch our videos, and those of you that comment are always super nice, and we're so grateful for that. We don't get a lot of the negativity. We don't. We don't. And it was funny. They 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 threatened to. I would hate to unfollow you. I'm like unfollow if you're that kind of piece of person <laughs> i don't care how many followers we got uh, it's quality versus quantity and we yeah. got a lot of quality good followers if so. y'all haven't realized we don't put our videos out for subscribers or fame or, we don't or care. no we do it for information to share our lives and if, if you like it you like it if you don't you don't you know there's always those people that feel like instead of just moving on they've got to make a shitty opinion and <laughs> excuse my french but you I know love. And it's it's just oh my gosh it's just funny and not not to harp on that it's just you know I just I wish everybody could just get along you know just, be happy it's the holidays it enjoy the, holidays, the time right? that we can with our families right, or right. you know with the ones we I, love I'm so grateful that Jason and I can do this together we don't have a big family so it doesn't affect us that much yeah. but and I'm sorry for those. Of you that it does affect that can't be with I your feel families. Really you know, bad that's... with fo- for folks who are in just states that are that completely locking down yeah. stuff. And yeah, I, I feel so bad for you guys because in Texas, we. I mean, we, we're cautious. We're, you know, we wear a mask when we go inside places. We do, we wash our hands, mm-hmm. we social distance, we do all that. But we're not closing down our state. I'm sorry. It yeah. just doesn't make sense. And I feel so bad for the people trapped in states that are doing that to them. Yeah. Oh my gosh. It's. I mean, I'm grateful that we have this. this That's why I love Texas so much. <laughs> I'm grateful that we do this job because we still get to travel during this time where a during lot of people time. cannot. Yeah. You know, yeah. we're very fortunate for that and we are golly yeah yeah. but man we're just off on all kinds of tangents today see what happens when we sit for a few days (laughs) we just get vocal and just be going off on all kinds of stuff oh my gosh but anyway Uh, we love all you guys regardless if you agree with us or don't agree with us and whatever we love everybody treat treat everybody with we're all humans that's all we gotta do spread the love spread the kindness that's why i always try to do i'm always happy that's just me it's not an act. It's not an act. I know a lot I, of people think she's I, acting like no, this. I, I, Believe that's me, as soon me. as the camera is off, she is just like this. So I'm like, woman, <laughs> turn it down a couple notches, please. I annoy him. And I'm, sometimes. I'm a grumpy butt. Oh, he I is am. a grumpy butt. I am a he grumpy. is grumpy. grumpy. But oh all right, God. well, we will. Oh, and the batteries. We still haven't gotten that done, haven't yet. done that yet. We'll probably do that tomorrow. They've been. It's weird. They've been fine now. Well, we're going to sit here with, ne- well, I got to turn, no, I don't have to turn the generator on, I guess, for like the clean, but. Six, seven hours we ran yesterday and no problem, so I don't know. I don't know. Mm, maybe it was a fluke. fluke. I don't know. We'll see if they die again and we're here by the shop, so. We're right by the shop, so. Yeah. Cool. All right. That's all we got. We're, we're dumb rambling <laughs> about that stuff. Yeah. Uh, pe- Oh, it ain't standing up. It's nothing yet. yet. All we'll right, wait. well, peace, we'll love, and next for dying later. Although this clip was probably like 30 minutes long. <laughs> <laughs>
Jason went online on the TA app and put our name down that we needed it done yesterday at like 11 in the morning. Yeah. Didn't get a call. So today, this morning, you called and they're like, oh, we didn't get your request. And they, they didn't go in and print it out because they don't have our... It's like I give you all the information in the app. Like I put all my information, truck number, company name, all that stuff. And if they don't go and print it out, they don't have any of that information. So they, I guess they, I think they're being lazy today. Yeah. Yeah. When I took the dogs out this morning, they were just all out there. There was no trucks in the shop. There was like five guys standing out there doing nothing. And yeah. And then she said their Landstar inspection guy is busy all day, so they can't do it. And I'm like, Ugh. there's nobody in the shop. Oh my gosh. So, there's nobody wah, wah. in the bay right now. If we go out and look out the window, <laughs> there's absolutely nobody in the bay. <laughs> yeah. It's crazy. And I mean, not, we, it's not <laughs> like we need it done today. We still have a couple weeks before it's due. So, we have a little bit of time. We're just trying to be proactive and. That backfired on us, but yeah. it, eh, was, it is what it is. It was funny when I called her and she explained that her Landstar guy was busy all day. I'm like, well, what's the point of using the app? And she's all, I don't know. I'm like, are you saying basically the app is pointless? <laughs> she's all, pretty much. Which, what is weird is when we were having the issues with the battery, you made us an appointment over the app and they called us. And they called. It worked, so, so. Yeah. Just somebody being lazy. Probably just the person working in the shop. Yeah, yeah somebody not, somebody being lazy. Not doing their job, but, you know, is what it is. Get it done sometime before it's due. And Jason uh, had some guys polish all our tanks and wheels. Yeah, there some was... homeless drunks, you know. <laughs> that they said that's what they said they were. And, yeah, they admitted to it. They, they, I was out there talking with them. He's like, yeah, I'm out. I can't have my CDL no more. I'm like, oh, yeah, why not? He's all, I'm an alcoholic. <laughs> I'm like, okay, cool. Yeah, so they uh, least, we got them to clean that stuff, polish least, it. Yeah, at least they're out working for their money. So True, uh, right. Yeah. yeah, they're not just out begging. So. I, I don't hand out money anymore. I If somebody wants to polish the, uh, the aluminum, I'll pay them to do it. If I got time or if I got some cash, I'll do that. But I, I don't give cash out anymore, really. Yeah, so they did a really good job. And we are just going to relax the rest of the day. Hopeful to get a load. I don't know if we'll get a call tomorrow, Monday, or... Probably Tuesday. Maybe Monday or Tuesday, get a load. There's not a lot of trucks out here. There's only, like, one other truck out here in California, so... Yeah, yeah. But that should be good for us, right? Hopefully. 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 <laughs> we'll see. Keep you guys posted in the next vlog. See what happens. See what but happens. Yeah, we're going to go ahead and end this one here. Relax the rest of the day, and... We'll catch you guys in the next vlog. Cool. How's that? Sounds good. All right. Thank you guys as always for watching and subscribing. Until our next video. Peace, love, and expediting. I'm ready to relax with my babies. Oh, yeah. They're back here relaxing. Oh, yeah. Yes, they are. Probably need to go P-O-T-T-Y again, huh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs>